everyone. If given the pattern continues, write down the nth term suggested by the pattern. So we're trying to find the nth term, or also known as the explicit formula. So what we're going to do is go ahead and write this. We have 1, 1 half, comma, 1 fourth, and 1 eighth, and then dot, dot, dot. So first thing I want to do is label my, uh, my index numbers. So you could sometimes they call them J, but I'm going to write this as A sub 1, A sub 2, A sub 3, and A sub 4. So um, I'm going to, if I can write this as 1, uh, 1 over 1, there we have it. Now this one, the 1's match. Here are the two matches, but then we're running problems with this. So what I want to do is rewrite this formula so it has these index numbers in it, and I'm mainly concerned with these two. So what I want to do is, uh, or notice, is that I have, I can write this as 1. I'll deal with that one later. This is really 1 over 2 squared, uh, or just 2 to the first power, sorry. This one is 1 over 2 squared, and this is 1 over 8 cubed. No, not 8 cubed, jeez. All right, this is going to be 2 cubed. All right, and this one, then therefore, would be 2 to the 0 for that 1. Now, let me write down this again. So I have a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4. Now we can kind of match it up because I notice if I look at my exponents here, 0, 1, 2, and 3, I notice it's one less than my index numbers here. So my exponents here are one less. It all has the form 1 over 2. All of these have that. So I can write this is 1 over 2. And then what you want to do is figure out, let's just do the denominator first so it's not confusing. If I do the denominator, I'm going to write this, since this is 1 less than my n, this is your n part. This would be n minus 1. All right? And you could plug it in and see if it works. Let's plug in this one. So a sub 4 equals 1 over 2 to the 4 minus 1, which is 1 over 2 cubed, which is 1 eighth. So that's what you're getting at. Now, they're not going to want you to write it like this. Um, since 1's at the top, is in my numerator, I can write this as 1 half to the m minus 1. Because no matter what you do with the 1 to the m minus 1, if you're starting at 1, it's still going to equal 1. So this looks much better than this one. Okay? That's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.